welcome back to 60 second Jeep Wisdom. You know, I'm at it again on my OEM steel bumper. Um, this will be my third iteration. I started with the factory hoop that came on my recon. I had my LP4s mounted on that. And then I changed that out to rock hard 4x4s uh, hoop because I wanted to get these inside of the, uh, of the main hoop. I like that look. And then uh, Maximus 3 came out with their XLP hoop, which I'm running now, as you can see. And uh, once I saw that and I saw that it, uh, it closely mimicked what uh, Jeep showed us at uh, last year's EJS, I figured that I was in. That was exactly what I was looking for. So let's jump in and take a look. I'll show you how I got my uh, Baja LP4s mounted on here and uh, how this all works out. Let's take a look. And here's a shot of the finished installation of the Baja Designs LP4s. At just over six inches round, they just fit. Here's my OEM seal bumper stripped down, ready to start. Now, let's do a quick walkthrough of the install. It's really simple. Along with the kit, Maximus 3 will provide shims for each outer corner if you're not running the OEM end caps on your steel bumper. In the kit, you'll find these rubber bushings that'll isolate the hoop from the steel bumper. Here's a close-up look at the steel shim you'll need to run if your end caps are removed. I removed these four factory nut clips as I prefer to run the bolt and a solid nut underneath, making for a much stronger connection between the hoop and bumper. Now let's take a quick look at where I drilled to mount my Baja LP4s. I provided the specs for that as well. After several fittings by hand, I decided to locate the Baja lights right here. Here's the measurements from the inside of the bumper and out from the center. After the holes were drilled, I soaked the end of a Q-tip with fresh paint and coated the inside of the holes. Now we're ready to mount the LP4s. As you can see, I used a spacer between the bumper and the light. This will make it a lot easier to aim the lights without scratching the surface of the bumper. And here's the finished look. Now let's take a virtual walk around so you can get an idea of the proportions of this new XLP hoop. Until next time, stay safe and be well.